Let me introduce you to the simulation component of the Ottawa Anesthesiology Residency Program. I think it's one of the highlights. Now crises don't happen very frequently in the clinical realm, so we can't reliably provide our learners with the opportunity to practice these skills. But I can do so here in a simulated environment. So with our high fidelity mannequins and our realistic environment, we can create all sorts of scenarios, ranging from difficult conversations to management of life-threatening emergencies. And we can allow our learners to practice these skills without any concern of harm towards patients. So this is a safe learning environment for all levels of learners here. I think one of the biggest things is just uh, the first time I went to a Code Blue was uh, really nice to have already seen uh, that experience here at the Simulation Centre. So I knew a little bit more of what to expect, what my role was, and also what the other things would be happening in the room and how I could best uh, facilitate that. Working through these high stress situations or high stress uh, scenarios, you also recognize how you react when uh, stress is high in critical situations, um, which can really inform your practice and inform the way that you want to act um, in, the real, in the real world when these situations arise. The real learning actually happens after the scenario during the debrief. So that's when we get together and we talk about what happened. This concept of critical reflection is one of the cornerstones of adult learning. Uh, we actively teach self and peer debriefing workshops so that this very important skill they can carry throughout their entire career. After in the debrief we talk a lot about the crisis management skills. They can watch themselves on video. They can see what their teamwork is like. They can see how effective their communication was all with the goal of improvement. Technical skills are an important component of an anesthesiologist's skill set. We use partial task trainers here so that learners can develop these skills without any of the time pressure or patient safety concerns that would happen in the clinical realm. Uh, one of the great things that we do in the simulation program here is we learn to debrief each other. Um, that helps us inform our practice in the future as well. Um, it allows us to be able to debrief situations in the real world so that when there's a critical event in the hospital, I'm able to talk to co-residents or other health care workers that I'm, I'm working with and debrief with them so that we can all grow as a team. Anesthesia residents in Ottawa can expect to engage in simulation throughout their entire residency. They start in their boot camp and foundations with a pretty intense 12 weeks, during which time they have well over 30 scenarios all geared towards a junior resident. And this ranges from challenging conversations to management of difficult airways. After foundations, residents will continue to have simulation throughout the entire residency. We have lots of opportunities. We spend a lot of time here in first year, um, but you also spend uh, multiple days uh, throughout the upper years as well and that allows us to get a little bit more familiar with um, things that you don't really otherwise get to be familiar with. Um, so you have exposures to things like surgical airways, um, things that you never want to do in real life, but you've had a, an experience of doing it in a simulation. One of the unique strengths of the Ottawa Anesthesia Residency Simulation Education Program is that we have a very strong focus on interprofessional and interdisciplinary education. So what that means is when we design scenarios, we do so with our colleagues, with our surgical, obstetrical colleagues, with allied health, with nursing. And we learn together so that we can work together. I think uh, simulation is really strong here because there's a lot of buy-in from the residents and the staff and it's really uh, run very well. Like one of the things with the with the Ottawa program or the, the simulation program here, um, we get to practice some high fidelity situations um, and part of the high fidelity is creating a rather stressful scenario um, with the help of our co-residents uh, as well as the support staff um, and um, 
the staff and anesthesiologists who help run the center. Um, we really create, or they create an energy in the room that makes it feel very real. Um, and I think that realism when you're doing the, um, the scenarios is something that's incredibly important um, in, in um, informing your reaction to these stressful situations as well as helping you work through those stressful situations in a way that's still safe and um, keeping the patient uh, first in mind. That is just a glimpse of the simulation component of the Ottawa Anesthesia Residency Program.